We see the development of algae-based biofuels in a variety of contexts breaking out. We're in the cusp of a clean energy revolution, and companies like Bionovitis and, frankly, many others in, in Puget Sound region are going to lead that revolution. This company has a technology uh, that will be able to deliver light at depth to that algae and significantly increase production, we hope, uh, so it's very exciting. Well, this bioreactor is, is for the laboratory, so we can do experiments. Um, we can grow uh, about 30 liters volume in there, so we can grow a, a, a fair amount of biomass with it. Um, this is the very first one that we developed that, to demonstrate our light immersion technology. Inside here, um, we have panels that are very similar to this that we can immerse inside here, and, and up to four of them that are double-sided. Um, and this is how we first uh, proofed out our light immersion technology. So what we worked on is a way of taking that solar energy above the pond, getting it past that already top solar rich layer, and bringing it down into the rest of the pond. So this is the surface of a pond. We're getting plenty of sur uh, surface uh, energy there. Um, and ultimately, but it ultimately it only goes this deep, mm -hmm. right? And then your, your algae grows and blocks that light, all right? Well, if you take a look at a pond, most algae is going to grow within the first few centimeters of the top. Um, as, as the algae grows and it gets thicker, it starts uh, self-shading or blocking out the sunlight from reaching the algae down below. So what this technology allows us to do is bring the sunlight down through the, into, into the entire mixture and make it a homogeneous mixture so it enables the algae to grow within the entire depth instead of just the first few centimeters. We get very even light distribution throughout the length of, of the rods. And you can see that there's some different patterns that we've, we've put on, onto the rods and those patterns can demonstrate how we can bring light out differently uh, at different areas. If we want to um, do certain layers or certain patterns, we can do that as well.